On the morning of April the 18th, 1943, US P-38 Lightning fighter planes attacked a group of Japanese aircraft over Bougainville Island. In the course of the battle, the Americans shot down a Betty bomber, which crashed into the jungle. That plane carried Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto, commander-in-chief of the combined fleet of the Japanese Empire. Isoroku Yamamoto belonged to a samurai family, and serving his country and emperor became his life's work. However, he spent a lot of time in the US, studying the intricacies of naval warfare abroad. He was a brilliant officer and enjoyed enormous popularity in the Navy. On August the 30th, 1939, Isoroku Yamamoto was assigned the commander-in-chief of the combined fleet. Yamamoto did not support the militarist politics, but understanding that he was not able to prevent Japan from entering World War II, he decided to do everything he could to give his country a chance to win. Yamamoto created the first air fleet, a striking force consisting of the six biggest Japanese aircraft carriers. He developed and realized the plan of attack on Pearl Harbor. The following six months inspired Japanese militarists, but they led to a defeat in the Battle of Midway and the Battle of Guadalcanal. The Admiral understood the inevitability of Japan's downfall. To boost the morale of the combined fleet, Yamamoto decided to make an inspection tour throughout the South Pacific. However, the enemy managed to intercept and decrypt radio messages detailing the Commander-in-Chief's itinerary. The Americans knew who was behind the attack on Pearl Harbor and President Roosevelt personally gave the order to get Yamamoto. A Japanese search and rescue party found Yamamoto near the crashed plane. He was still upright in his seat, his white gloved hand grasping the hilt of his katana. If a samurai failed to reach his goal, death was the way of the samurai. 